There is no exercise like bridging. Bridges is amazing. They're unique to the bodyweight world. They do so many wonderful things. And uh, no matter, even if you're not into fitness, you can do huge benefits by implementing a regular bridging program uh, with your uh, weekly routine. So what I did was I drew up a list. These are 10 reasons why you really want to include bridging in any kind of program that you're following or even if it's for general health. Okay, I'll get through these somewhat quick here. Number 10, build stronger abs and core. Okay, your ability to get those six pack abs to build stronger abs depends on how stable your spine is. You can do all the sit-ups and crunches and leg raises and stuff you want, but if you can't stabilize your spine through all the muscles in your back, it's like maybe 50% as effective. So you're working twice as hard for half the result. Bridges will strengthen up all the muscles along your spine so you're much more stable in your pelvis so your abs can work much more effectively for every rep of every core exercise you do for the rest of your life. Number nine is bridges allow for strengthening with spinal movement. Now this is unique to bridges because most of the time when we're exercising, we got our back against something, we're laying down, we're in a seat or something, so our spine is still. And even then, when you have like a weight in your hands or your squat and stuff, we're told, keep your spine still, don't let it move. Don't, you know, round your back with deadlifts and arching and stuff like that. That's a big, huge mistake overall because your spine is just like any other joint in your body. If you want it to be healthy, you want it to be strong and injury free, you gotta move. You gotta move through a big range of motion under resistance, mind you, as well as possible. Now, if you do this with heavy weights, you're gonna hurt your back, and if you have things supporting you, you can't move it very much, bridges solve this problem because they allow your spine to move completely as much as possible, full flexion, full extension, um, under resistance, which saves your joints, which improves flexibility. Just everything that you need for a strong, healthy spine comes from bridges. Uh, number eight, you can do them anytime, any place, anywhere. You don't need a gym, you don't need fancy equipment, you don't need a bench, you don't need anything, which is not only efficient, but like any other exercise, if you wanna get the most benefit from it, you need to do it on a regular basis, week after week after week, for at least the next five to 10 years. Now, when you have things like you need to go to a gym, you need equipment and all that stuff, you got hoops you gotta jump through, which makes that long-term consistency and therefore progress much harder to do. Uh, number seven, we're hearing a lot about sitting. Bridges cure sitting. Okay, we're told, you know, standing desks are getting more popular, which are often more harm than good. Uh, we've got uh, people who are saying, oh, don't sit for too long and so on. All these problems that come from sitting can be directly uh, cured and remedied by a simple bridging practice, okay? which I'll get into more here in a little bit. Number six, stabilize the shoulders. Okay, so a lot of problems, it's not just the spine, but the scapula, the shoulder blades that are moving all over the place with stuff, and people don't have very stable shoulders. This creates a lot of problems when it comes to exercise, when it comes to your breathing, when it comes to shoulder problems and stuff. It just compounds and compounds, makes it worse over time. Bridges require shoulder stabilization under movement. Again, we've got this movement under load thing going on. So your shoulders are moving under load, which gives you more stability, and in turn, gives you a safer shoulder joint, more stable and a stronger shoulder joint that remains injury free and you get better results from all your exercises because of that. Number five, bridges open up the chest. Now I was a little dubious on this one when I first kind of started hearing about it. I'm like opening up the chest, greater breathing, open up the lungs and everything. Eh, I'm not so sure. But believe me, I'm a mountain biker, I'm a hiker, a skier. When I started uh, doing more bridges, my breathing got a lot easier and I had a lot more wind for these things that I was doing. So that's one unique thing about uh, bridges. It opens up your lung capacity. Number four, anterior chain stretch. Your anterior chain is all the muscles in the front of the body. Again, with sitting, we're always the tight hip flexors, tight hamstring, tight quads, tight uh, anterior tibialis, everything's hunched over and stuff. Bridges are exactly the opposite of this. So it stretches out the entire anterior chain. You don't need to do 20 different exercises for each little muscle group. Just do a bridge, you get it all covered, you're done. Number three, full posterior chain tension. So this is tension from your ankles 
all the way to your shoulders or even the back of your head. Everything's got to be tight. So a lot of times we've got machines, we've got separate exercises, we're working on the hamstrings, we're working on the calves, we're working on the lower back, we're working on the upper back, and we're doing it in little pieces. This is not only terribly inefficient and very expensive, but it's not very healthy or holistic because you've got pockets of weakness that's still high. With bridges, you strengthen everything completely no stone is left unturned there are no weak links and you get everything covered in one simple efficient movement uh, number two increase in fat loss now this isn't direct I'm not saying if you do bridges you're gonna lose 20 pounds but there are a number of factors that greatly influence how well you can lose fat and things like your energy level, your ability to move, your ability to go the distance, comfort, pain. Pain is extremely fattening, lower. Nothing will cause you to gain weight like back pain because it keeps your butt seating, sitting or lying down all the time. All of this stuff again gets eliminated when you have a healthy back from bridging. So when you're bridging, what ends up happening is your energy level is better, you move more, you can burn more calories, your appetite level goes down because your energy level is better, you're less pain, on and on and on lots of these factors compound and it will make weight loss a lot easier and then finally reason number one why you want to be doing these bridges is because it makes literally every exercise you will ever do better it doesn't matter if it's walking water polo wrestling Olympic weightlifting juggling flaming kettlebells it doesn't matter what you do or how you're doing it I guarantee it will be a lot better with a regular bridging practice because of everything that I mentioned here and more. I could go on and on with another top 10 list. So get started on a simple bridging program. All you gotta do is lay down on the floor and then just pull yourself on up. If you want some tips on how to uh, progress the bridges from the beginner to the advanced, check out Convict Conditioning, the link's down below. And uh, I've got some more videos coming up on how to do this. But just a little bit of food for thought for you on bridges. Till then be fit, live free.